Hey beautiful people, I'm Joe Koleski, the super brave teacher. And you know what? When teachers and families ask me, what's the secret? What, how do you do what you do? How, how, do I re how do I do this with these kids, with these kids? You know what the best advice I give them is? Do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing? What? say that I love those little trailers because it's I love putting out those little crumbs for you because it's like wait a sec don't you always say do something Joel you gotta at least do something and I'm like telling you to do nothing yeah deal with it I'm Joel Kurlowski I'm the super brave teacher on YouTube and my new website the super brave teacher.com has my blog has information in my book all this good stuff go check it out like this channel share this channel do what you do it means a lot to me it is sparking bravery. It is tipping Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way. It is tipping the world because every time people like me, not just me, people like me, put themselves out there and say, you know what? This is who I am. This is who I am. It sends a message that people like me are awesome. People like me, people like us are awesome. That our fellow LGBTQ plus teachers, students, and accomplices are awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Do that right now. You can even pause the video. Thank you. Do it. So now let's get back to the nothingness. Little bit of context. I am a Spanish immersion kindergarten teacher. So all day long you'll hear certain phrases like this. Ya. No más. Hola, super persona. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo te sientes hoy? Oh, super. Eres valiente porque tú eres quien eres. Porque tú eres quien eres. Todo no y no está bien. Todos somos diferentes y está Bien. Pausa. <sighs> pausa. I'm a little aggressive there with my pausa. But yes, that final phrase, pausa, is what I say all the time to my students. Pausa. Pause. Pausa. Pause. Say it with me. Pausa. Pause. Pausa. Pause. Anytime something goes on for me or with my students, I want them to get in that habit of pausing of pausing. And that is the biggest tip that I can give you from an educator's perspective. Not a parent, I am not a parent. I have no idea. You are great, you are awesome. Keep doing what you do. It is hard, I have no idea. Please tell me more, I wanna know. And from an educator's perspective, the best thing that I can do for myself, when my brain is starting to go, oh, what's going on, I don't like this, or oh, what's going on, I need more of this, or what's going on, this is like, too good. <laughs> you know, you have those moments where you're like, is there like a conspiracy against me? What's going on? The best thing I can do for myself is pause. When I pause, that gives me a time to take some deep breaths. And when I take some deep breaths and I pause, all of a sudden my brain and my heart and my gut start aligning. And I'm like, wait a second, this isn't as bad as I thought it was. Or wait a second, this is way worse than I thought it was. I need to go rock a mini lesson about this. Or wait a second, these kids are just amazing and they're doing their thing, stop. Micromanaging, Joel, right? That's what the pause does for me. For a kid, what a pause does for them is it gives their brain an opportunity to go from hot brain, where their brain is just like, ah, and you know you can never have a conversation with a kid or adult when they're in hot brain. It gets you nowhere. When the kid's like, but I really just want a cram, but I really just want this, ah! Right, that pause, that breathing gives them some time for their brain to slow down and start aligning with their heart and with their gut. And then you can start having a conversation with them too. Friend, what do you think you need right now? Friend, what's going on? Friend, I've got two really great choices for you. You can finish this or you can do this. And it gives you time and it gives them time to realign. So probably more than I even say, buenos dias, even more than I say like, you're brave, I tell kids, pause. Pausa, piensa, respira, pause, think, breathe. And it gives all of us this beautiful opportunity to come together and say, what do you think I need right now? I wonder what you need right now. I wonder how we can both have our needs met. Now that's gonna look different for kids of different ages. Like I've said before, with little kids, and I would even argue with big kids, you don't need a lot of choices. And sometimes they don't even know what they want. So it's like, what are you thinking right now? What do you need? And they're like, um, my subconscious is doing all this stuff and I don't know what I need. But 
it gives them that opportunity, like I said, to calm their brains down, calm their bodies down, and to pause. And sometimes for adults and for kids, that pause needs to be a few minutes. So we have a space in our classroom where it's the take a break chair and they can just breathe, or they can take a heart and they can just put it on their body to calm their body down, or they have a movement break. So they go over and we have like this work it pro seven minute workout going on repeat, and they can just do a little movement to like get whatever it is in them out of them so that their brain can start calming down because some people need movement. That's more usually who I am. I'm like, okay, let me just get a little energy out. And some kids need some calm or sometimes they need both. And what's great friends, what's great fellow accomplices, what's great parents and teachers and whoever is watching this is that it works for you too. If you walk in my classroom at any time of the day, you might see me taking a break. You might see me doing some movement. You might see me laying on the floor, calming my body down. Because we have the simple rules of take care of yourself, take care of each other, and take care of your community. And within that is, I can never raise my voice to kids. I can never do things that are unloving to kids. And once I start even hinting at that, that's when I say, you know what kids? I'm gonna go take a break right now. I, want, I gotta take care of myself because I wanna take care of you. You know what kids right now? I'm gonna do a little movement break because I need to take care of myself right now because I need to take care of you right now. And then kids, their mirror neurons are like, wait a second, if the super brave teacher is doing this, I, I bet that's a great idea for me too. And then they start doing that themselves. And then they realize that la pausa, the pause, is so important and then they, they love it. So when I say pausa, they're like, I got it. I know what that means. I think some of them think pausa means breathe. And I don't care if they do currently because that's just fine. Because if they're pausing and breathing, that's great. So I encourage you to do the same and I encourage me to do the same. Anytime I see my brain or my heart or my gut starting to turn with inside of me, pausa, piensa, respira, pause, think and breathe. Recalibrate yourself. If you're a parent, I have no idea, like I said, but try it. See what happens. If you're a teacher, try it. See what happens. And if you're a fellow human awesome being, try it and see what happens. It's, it's a game changer. It's really changed how I can relate with people, like my husband, with, like myself, with friends. The pause. Rock the pause. What are you rocking these days? Leave a comment below. I want to hear all about it. Try the pause, leave a comment below, tell me all about it. If you are a parent who knows parenting blogs and think that this would be a great thing, share it, like it, do what you do. If you are a teacher who's like, oh my goodness, why aren't we just hearing more simple messages like this? Get this channel out there, let it be known that I am the super brave teacher, Joe Karlewski, who is out and proud and not only ready to share teaching advice, but share stories with you and for you because we're awesome. You are important. You are enough just for being who you are. Thanks for being that person. Thanks for being you. And I'm going to say to myself, Joel, pause. You are awesome. Joel, you are enough. You are important just for being you. Keep doing that. Bye, friends.